Woke up in the middle of the night Could believe what's going on Woke up with you by my side We woke up in a different world Nobody knows where to go Millions have lost their home We can make it through this hole Baby, I need to do all oh, Don't I want you to close your eyes Hold my hand and trust me Trust me I will save you Pretty big YouTube, so just come on my YouTube channel. The Yedas Povidayu, Swahiva Vigvertia Donkey, Proton and Avitig Music Cantif. See who's a host Vito, Yak for Domak, Dark Imala McDomak Artistif. Ya, Opisayavam, Shinovin a publica, Shovin a bulletin, Roshinovin a zosium. Prihit that this the Mahokunano, they be pleased with this, the Vikravite, the Lazam Zimnoro, the Novishnik Artistif. Now, my first reaction of today is, is going over to Demchuk. And I think that's his name, Demchuk. This song is called 2402. And I believe that's the 24th of February. Um, in the description page, it says, 2402-2023 marks the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine. And this is what the new song and music video is about. 2402 is dedicated, um, is a dedicated to a Ukrainian singer presents a song worldwide about how it all began, about the pain, about the fear of every Ukrainian, about the experiences and hopes of a victory. This song is like a hymn to the anniversary of the war in Ukraine. Love, war, hope. So this has been out for a couple of months now. It has got the lyrical contents. The writers are Yev, is it Yevhenny and Vassal Tomash and Tim Gos, um, Gosden. So I take this, this is going to be looking back from where it started all the way to where we are right about now. A lovely song with background photos and, and videos of the of some crazy events of people, how they feel. Um, I feel it's going to be a, ter a tearjerker, definitely. But I won't know until I press the play button. Um, Demchuk. Um, something gives me a real feeling that this is not in Ukrainian. That is going to be in English. But I won't know once again. I won't know until I press the button. Um, Demchuk. Have I? Have I done? Have I? No, I haven't. I, I've never. I haven't reacted to Demchuk. I mean, just the name Demchuk. I, I just thought that is something that sounds familiar. But um, no, I don't think that I have reacted to him before. So okay. We'll just go straight into my first reaction of today, shall we? So, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music, as well as your support. Can you dig it? That is someone's apartment. That is not a barrack or anything. I have reacted to woke up with you by my side. We woke up in a different world. Nobody knows where to go. Millions have lost their home. We can make it through this hole. Baby, I need to do all oh, don't I want you to close your eyes. Hold my hand and trust me. Trust me. Oh my gosh, I'm trying so hard not to cry here. Your dreams and if you say you can't treat Oh, even if the nights are cold and dark We know that we fight for what is right I want you to never yeah. see again The days like these, yeah Oh, we'll keep dancing right the music's gone Hold my hand, we make it through the storm Do you know what I like about them, Chuck? I'm scared and so much pain But I swear I'll protect you, babe No matter how dark it gets I know this never fails You can tell that he's put everything into this we'll I'm see not... the sunrise again I'm talking about his, the English, singing in English I want you to close your eyes Hold my hand and trust oh. me Trust me Oh, man 
That was Dem Chuck with 2402. Showing you the horrific events from 2402 to the present time. Showing you the, the civilians of Ukraine and the impact it has on the civilians. The impact it has on the buildings of civilians. It just impact on the working day-to-day -day life of the civilians. As well as... Um, the heroic events from what the men are doing, as well as the women, don't get me wrong. Um, and the children, oh, I, like I said, I have a big, big, big issue with anybody uh, hurting children or making children, uh, making children cry out of content. You know, if they're behaving badly, fair, fair enough. But, you know, if they don't deserve it and all that kind of aspects... Ah, uh, and I, you know, you know that I have ranted and raved um, regarding this issue uh, with uh, the unfortunate events was happening right about now over in Ukraine. Um, I have done a, I think about around about an hour of why I choose to support Ukraine. Um, please check that out. Is somewhere on my YouTube page. Just type in that why I, and that should come up. Um. Because I felt it was necessary because every time when there's a music video, I, I, when there's when I see something like this, the discussion ends up much longer than it than it sh uh, should already be, especially for a music video. So that's why I thought, okay, let me do something separate. And then I had about say an hour of a ranting and raving of why I support uh, Ukraine and the way how I feel about these things. And I think it was really important for somebody outside who's looking in to show and share. Um, how they personally feel, because even though it massively affects Ukrainians um, inside and outside of Ukraine, it also has an impact on the rest of the world, an impact where you have to decide, are you going to ignore this or are you going to have this enter into your life where you have to do something about it? Because if you end, if you have this incident, this uh, this horrific um, situation where Ukraine is in, if you uh, turn a blind eye and you just become a TV person, you know, just watch it on TV and that's it. And it has no feelings um, for you. Then I don't know, you're just becoming a, a, a numb person. And I, I don't know. I mean, there's many people in this world are very, very numb um, that they can sit quite comfortably behind on the sofa, watching TV and watching, you know, horrific events around the world. And it doesn't affect them as much. I mean, you know, they still carry on with their day-to-day -day work. They still, you know, have lunch. They still have dinner. They still go out. And and then you get people who, you know, I don't know, brought up the wrong way, um, brought up a different way, and it does affect them. Um, and these are special people from around the world. I remember when there was a massive famine and in Ethiopia, and there was loads of people that was just watching TV and watching these people, watching these human beings um, die out of starvation. Millions were dying out of starvation. 
And it was this artist called Bob Geldof who said no. I, he's from, he's from uh, Ireland, Bob, Geld, Gel, Bob Geldof. And he just said, no, I'm not having this. And he got every kind of celebrity that he can phone up right now and demanded them to be in the studio to write a song. Um, heal the world. Um, feel the world. Um, let them know it's Christmas time. Um, Bob Beldoff, Sir Bob now, he done this amazing wave and he connected with people who felt the same way as he d he does. And I feel that in the same situation where the world is so separate to recognise what is going on and support the things is what's right, that needs to come back again because I just feel that the world is just watching Yes, there is a handful of people that's doing something about it. America or England, um, Poland. Oh my gosh, Poland is absolutely amazing. Um, and various other smaller countries, maybe some, some parts of the EU as well. But the people around in this planet, we should be having a much larger impact in order to stop this horrific event. We should create and have a larger impact where we did back in the, the 70s or the 60s or the 80s, you know, the taxes, um, the 90s. But the 2000, I think we just become a bunch of people that watch horrible things on TV through the news and really, really, really don't do anything about it. You know, it's just become very numb to that situation. And that shouldn't be that way. We're humans and we're human beings and we're beautiful people and we stand for a lot. So we show our support. I salute you. Boom.